Hi everyone, this is the 83rd video of the ACT Math Practice Problem Series. As I always recommend, before seeing the solution, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself and after that of course you want to match with my solution. So let's get started. Here the question says, a classroom has 12 tables that will sit up to 4 students each. If 22 students are seated at tables and no tables are empty, what is the greatest possible number of tables that could be filled with students? So couple things to notice here that we have 12 tables. So let me underline a few things. So we have 12 tables and each table can sit up to four students and no tables are empty. That is one most important information that you need to make a note of. So we have to make sure that no tables are empty. That means each table must have at least one student, right? Now let's do a rough sketch of the 12 tables here, right? I'm just going to do like 12 placeholders here. So suppose these are our 12 tables right here. So we have table 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So let's assume that we have these 12 tables here, right? And now we're going to sit one student in each table. So I'm going to now assign one student here, another 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 student here, then another one, another one, another one, and another one, another one, another one. So that way, at least we know that no tables are empty, right? That means each table has at least one student. Now, so far, how many students have been seated already? Well, six and six, 12, right? So 12 students have been seated already. All right. Now, how many students are yet to be seated? We have 22 students. So 22 minus 12, that would be 10 students. So we have 10 students yet to be seated. So if we have to fill maximum number of tables, how many students can each table take? Well, each table can take maximum up to four students. So what we can do, we can say, okay, let's assign three more students to the first table and three more students in the second table that way the first table is filled up second table is also filled up and how about another three students in the third table well the third table is also filled up now out of the 10 remaining students we have seated 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 9 of them so we have one more student to be seated and we can say okay let's put this one remaining student on the fourth table now if you look at this picture no tables are empty and we have filled up as many tables as we could and ultimately we can see that we have filled up table number one table number two and table number three those are the three tables that have been filled up with its maximum capacity of four students each right so then our answer would be three and if you look at our answer options we have three under option c so option c is the correct option i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video